Another episode of why you should call an experienced personal injury attorney following an automobile accident. Hi, I'm Paul Hernandez, attorney at Calvison Ackman, litigating cases from Virginia and North Carolina. Interestingly, many people think they can handle their personal injury case on their own without consulting an attorney. I say interestingly because even though I have a finance and an accounting degree, I don't do my own taxes. I hire an expert, someone who handles tax matters every day. I want someone who stays on top of the ever-changing tax code to best benefit me and my family. Let me share with you this story about a client who was about to sign a release and settle her case without an attorney for only $15,000. This young lady was in a moderate motor vehicle accident. Her car was damaged. She was able to get her car fixed with the insurance company. She had injuries to her neck and to her back. She was taken by ambulance to the emergency room where she was diagnosed with musculoskeletal injuries to her neck and back. She was released to follow up with her family doctor. When she visited with her family doctor, she was prescribed medications and several weeks of physical therapy. The therapy worked well, however, she required an injection into her neck, which helped her completely resolve from her pain and problems. She was not the suing type, so she was taking her advice from the nice insurance adjuster. She thought everything was fine until she told the adjuster she wanted to settle her case. The adjuster looked at the medical records and some prior medical records that the insurance company obtained with the permission of the young lady, which were over 10 years old. Interestingly, 10 years ago, she had similar neck and back pain after she worked hard in the yard. The adjuster told the young lady that seeing that she had pre-existing neck and back pain she had following the accident was probably more related to the issue she had 10 years ago. Then the adjuster offered her a take it or leave it offer of $15,000. The adjuster mailed her a check and a complete liability release. Fortunately, the young lady had a relative who was an attorney in another state, and she asked him if it was a fair settlement. That attorney, unfamiliar with the legal landscape in Virginia, was referred to me based on my reputation in the community. He asked me to look over the release and to tell him what I thought. I first noticed some glaring mistakes in the release. They even spelled the lady's name wrong. I asked for the young lady to come in for a free consultation. After learning what the adjuster had told the young lady about the cause of her injuries, I told the young lady based on my experience that her case was worth much more. She entered into a contingency fee arrangement with me where I would not get paid if I didn't get her more money than the originally offered $15,000. Within 60 days, I was able to secure a settlement in the amount of $75,000. The client put over $50,000 in her pocket, all tax-free. Needless to say, she was very happy and she currently refers all her friends and family to our office if they need legal services. So the moral to this story is that claims adjusters are really nice until you start talking about the M word. No, the M word is not marriage, it's money. The only currency we have in the legal world to correct these wrongs. If you have any questions about an automobile accident or whether you need to hire an attorney, Call me, Paul Hernandez, at 888-487-8546. I answer questions like this every day. And by the way, if you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below. That way you'll be notified every time we post a new informative video. I'm Paul Hernandez, litigation attorney in Virginia and North Carolina, and thanks for watching.